Hi there once again um, on this video you're going to learn about Venn diagrams okay I'm sure you must have come across this in your GCSE maths syllabus okay a Venn diagram typically looks something like this it's a box with um, circles inside it okay so if I say this circle talks about the students who do maths in a class okay mathematics and uh, this circle here talks about students who do science all right and if I just put some values in it um, so if I do 15 there I put 20 there and I put 5 here okay the ones in the middle do both all right so the ones in the middle do maths and science these ones only do science these ones only do maths okay and if you were asked or oh, who are the students who do maths you got to say 25 not just 20 because I didn't ask you who are the students who only do maths okay and um, well let's say you could have two outside these people don't do either subject okay they do neither all right they don't do science they don't do maths okay now um, each of these circles like uh, have specific notations okay I'm gonna teach you these notations all right so if I say M that is equal to um, 25 if I see if I say S that's equal to 20 if I say M intersection S okay okay so that's a new thing you're learning there that's equal to 5 intersection looks for the common one okay that's a 5 okay don't confuse that with the S so I'm gonna call that the intersection intersection oops my pen's giving up on me um, right and then you have M union S which is the ones who do science, the ones who do maths, and those who do both as well. So that's union, all right? That's 40, all right? So that's union, if you put a symbol like that, all right? Now, typically, like for A-level maths, A-level statistics, you'd be asked for the probabilities of these. So I'm just going to put P's in front, and I've got to put brackets around them, okay? And um, you got to give these values... 5, 20, 25, 40 as a probability of the whole number. So the whole number in the class, the people in the class, it's 15, 5, 22, so that's 42. So 25 divided by 42, so all of these divided by 42. Okay, so you've got to give these as a probability. All right, and what about this? Okay, now that has a funny notation. I'll, I'll teach you how to do that in a minute, but... Um, it's this okay um, so I'll teach you how to work that out in a minute okay so that's that okay so that's two okay these dashes here stand for not M and not S so the students who do who don't do maths and they should be also the students who don't do science so the students who don't do maths and they should not also do science so it's two okay so if I asked you this if I asked you so that should that's a probability so I should have written 2 by 42 if I ask you the probability of students who don't do maths it's everyone other than those who are in the maths circle this one here sorry so that's 15 and 2 this 5 is not included because even though they do science they still do maths so they can't include them in the probability because I'm asking for those who don't do maths so that's 5 and 15 and 2 17 by 42 okay so what would I have to write to denote this number here, this probability here, 15? The students who only do science, I would have to write something like this. Probability of those who don't do maths and the probability of those who do science, okay? So, the so those who don't do maths, okay, is the 5, the 15, sorry, 5... Um, well, that's not included because they do maths okay so it's just the 15 and the 2 so those who don't do maths is the 15 and the 2 so intersection is an area that is common to this and this so those who don't do maths is 5 15 and 2 and those who do science is only 15 so the one that is common to both this and this is it's 15 okay so that's 15 by 42 okay now we'll look at an example where I give you the um, give you the values 
um, or the probabilities um, value of, of, of certain of certain types okay let's say the probability of people who have brown eyes in a class okay the probability of people who have brown eyes in a class is 15 by 40 okay all right and the probability of those who have dreadlocks in a class um, that's 13 by 40 and the probability of those who have dreadlocks and have brown eyes in a class sorry that's a wrong symbol that's equal to 3 by 40 okay all right um, right now how would you put this in a probability I'm um, sorry not in a probability tree on a Venn diagram okay um, so you can see that there's an intersection definitely okay all right now you wouldn't put 15 in here if I call that circle B okay um, I want to put the probability so I've got to put the property so 15 by 40 I wouldn't put 15 by 40 in here I would first put my intersection value which is 13 by 40 oops not enough space okay that's 13 by 40 um, and then I would subtract that from this B value here and then I'd put that there like that okay because this whole circle should have a probability of 15 by 40 so that's those two add up to make 15 by 40 all right now this circle here that tells you the probability of a student having dreadlocks so that's 3 by 40 already in is part of this circle so I've got to subtract that from that so that leaves me with 10 by 40 okay the rest okay what's the probability of the rest probably the rest is basically you having to add up all of these and taking it away from one okay because the probability all the uh, the probabilities of all the outcomes added for an event should be equal to one so this should be all of these added taken away from one so one minus 12 by 40 minus 3 by 40 minus 10 by 40 so that's equal to 15 by 40 so those who don't have dreadlocks plus don't have brown eyes that's the probability of that all right okay so if I were to write out the notation for it it'll be P not B intersection not D okay now we are going to look at something called conditional probability with conditional probability basically what you do is this okay you say um, okay so you put all the all the students who do science into one room and you ask what's the probability of you picking out a student who does math out of that all right so all the students who do science okay you put them into one class so that's 20 students and what's the probability of you picking out someone who does math okay that's just this isn't it the students who do maths and science okay all right so the probability of that is a quarter all right now the notations I ought to use there now this was the probability of you no know, the number of students who do, who do science only so that's um, s and on top is this isn't it the students who do science and math okay right and the symbols you use for conditional probability is this okay I'll write it out and I'll explain to you in a minute okay I put an M and then I put a, s a straight line here, yeah? uh, a vertical straight line and then I put an, put the S there all right this says this is read as given that it's already an S what's the probability of M given that it's already already a science student what's the probability of it being a math student all right okay so that's how you um, read conditional probability statements okay now I didn't put probabilities of these okay so I'm going to make these all probabilities okay and they'll be still the same okay you'll still get the same answer okay in the exam I'd urge you to work with probabilities than with raw values like this okay so that's the probability of M given that it's already an S so it, that's equal to this probability of S intersection M divided by the probability of S okay probability of S is 20 by 42 okay 
probability of S intersection M is 5 by 42. Okay, so if we go back to your GCSE math, dividing fractions, so divide 5 by 42 by 20 by 42, that becomes 5 by 42 times 42 by 20, cancel these out, so that leaves you with 5 by 20, which is a quarter, the same answer that you got when I dealt with just the raw values and not probabilities, okay? All right, okay, so that's conditional probability, okay? So let me ask you this, okay? What's the answer to this question? Let me write somewhere here. P probability of S, given that it's an M, okay? So let's see what the answers are. So I'll let you do it yourself now. Here it is, okay? So you got to divide the probability of S intersection M, okay, by the probability of M, okay, so you're putting all the math students into one class and you're asking what's the probability of picking a student who does science, okay, so you divide those probabilities and then you get this as the answer, all right, good. Lastly, we're going to look at a proof that you need to know, all right, now this is what it is, all right. So if you have a Venn diagram where, is, where there's an overlap between two circles, all right, and um, if I call this A and if I call this B, all right, and if I just put some values there, 5, 2, 4, all right, um, A union B is equal to A plus B minus A intersection B, all right, okay. A union B is all of this, okay? A alone, B alone, and then the one in the middle, all right? Okay, so that's 4, 2, 5, that's 9, all right? But A means those who are only in the circle A, so that's 6. B, those who are in circle B, that's 7, all right? But we got an answer 9 here, okay? Um, have I added right? Had it right? I'm sorry, no, I didn't say nine. I didn't mean to say nine. That's eleven. Sorry. If you add all of these up, you get eleven. Um, my apologies. Okay, so you get eleven. So A union B is eleven. Two, four, five. That's eleven. But if you add the circles by themselves, A plus B, you get thirteen. Okay, so you got to take away the intersection, which is two. Now it's fine. All right. Because when you just do A plus B, the intersections added twice, okay? So you got to take away an intersection, all right? So this proof you'll have to remember. So I've just done it with raw values, so it still works for probabilities. So I put the P in front, okay? That's that's the proof, really, you know? It, it's got to have the P in front. So in the exam, you'll have to deal with probabilities, okay? But it still works with raw values, all right? Okay. I still seem to have some time, so let's um, do a question where you'd have to use this proof, plus you'd have to um, deal with conditional probability values, okay? Alright. Okay, so you have these values here. You have the probability of A, you have the probability of B, you have the probability of A, given that it is a B, that is 0 0.4, and you've got to put these values into a Venn diagram, okay? So you can see there's clearly an overlap, okay? because of this, okay, because there's an intersection involved here in finding out this, okay, and you got to you got to be able to figure out the values in here, in here, in here, and also in here, all right, okay, so let's start with this, A given B, all right, so let me write down the notations for it, okay, so I would have figured this out by doing probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B, okay, so I know these two values, then I can figure, figure A intersection B, Okay, probability of B is 0 0.5, probability of A, given that it's a B, 0 0.4, so A intersection B should be 0 0.4 times 0 0.5, which is A intersection B, therefore, is equal to 0 0.02. So that's the probability of A intersection B. So that's 0 0.02. Okay, I'm running out of space. Okay, so that helped, I think. So that's 0 0.02. Okay, now I can start filling out the rest. Okay, if I say probability of A is 0 0.04, then I got to take this away from 0 0.04, so that's 0 0.38. Crikey. Okay, 
and this one should be 0 0.48 all right if I add all of these up I get um, 0 point uh, 0 0.4 that's 0 0.88 so therefore what's on the outside is 1 minus 0 0.88 So 1 minus 0 0.88, but let me just label this properly. So that's minus 0 0.38, minus 0 0.02, minus 0 0.48, okay? So that's equal to um, uh, 0 0.12, okay? So that's what's on the outside, okay? If I had to rely on this, on this proof here, so let me just cut it and paste it. Okay, um, I would first have to figure out my A union B. All right, so to figure out A union B, I've got to work out probability of A, which is just 0 0.4, probability of B, which is 0 0.5. Take that away from the probability of the intersection, 0 0.02. That will be equal to 0 0.88 so that's the probability of a union b and what's outside will be everything other than this isn't it so that's 1 minus 0.88 so that's 1 0.12 okay